Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn word problems that involve both addition and subtraction in class 5. We know that addition and subtraction are mathematical operations on numbers. And these word problems that we are going to see will involve both addition and subtraction. Let us go into the details of this video. The first sum that we are going to see is the population in the city of Banegar is 41,725 and the population in the city of Chittara is 53,190. What is the total population of the two cities? And which city is more populated and by how much? The first step in dealing with a word problem is to write down the statements that are given. Population in the city of Banegar is equal to 41,725. Population in the city of Chittara is equal to 53,190. To find the total population, we should add the population of the two cities. That is 41,725 plus 53,190. Let us add these two numbers. Begin the addition from the ones place. 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 9 is 11. 1 carry over 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 1 plus 3 is 4. And 4 plus 5 is 9. So the sum of these two 5 digit numbers will give you the answer 94,950. So the total population is 94,950. What is the next question that we have? Which city is more populated and by how much? On comparison, we can see that these two are 5 digit numbers. 41,725 and 53,190 are 5 digit numbers. For comparison, we will always see the leftmost number which is 4 and 5 in this case. We know that 5 is greater than 4. So with that we can say that the population of Chittara is more. But then we will have to find out by how much. To find out by how much we will have to subtract the population of Chittara minus the population of Banegar. As usual begin the subtraction from the ones place. 5 minus 5 is 0. 9 minus 2 is 7. 1 minus 7 cannot be done. So you go to the next place and borrow and regroup 3000s which will become 2000s and 1000 or the 10 hundreds will be given to the hundreds place. In hundreds place you already have a 1. So you will get 10 plus 1, 11 hundreds now. 11 minus 7 is 4. Next again 2 minus 1 is 1 and 5 minus 4 is 1. So the answer that you get is 11,470. What is this? This is the population by which Chitara is more than Banegar. Now let us take and write down the answers which is the last step of handling a word problem. First step is writing down the statements. Second step is doing the calculations which we have done. And the third step is to write down the answer. A. The total population of the two cities is 94,915. Which city is more populated? We found out that Chitara is more populated and by 11,470 people. Hope you have understood how to approach a word problem. We have seen all this in detail in our lower classes. How to approach a word problem. Basically read it, write down the statements, do the calculation and finally write down the answer. Let us go on to the next sum now. Sheila purchased a shirt for rupees 345.50 that is 345 rupees 50 paise. An umbrella for 128 rupees 50 paise and a pair of shoes for rupees 500. How much money did she spend? And the next question is if she gave rupees 1000 to the shopkeeper how much money did she get back? Let us write down the statements first. Cost of the shirt is equal to rupees 345.50. Cost of the umbrella is equal to rupees 128.50. 
cost of the pair of shoes is equal to rupees 500 total money spent is equal to sum of all these three amounts so 345.50 plus 128.50 plus rupees 500 let us add these three amount now take care that the decimal points are one below the other begin the addition of the paise part first in the end you will get zero after that it is five plus five ten zero place the decimal value and carry over the one to the next place value here it is one plus five six six plus eight is fourteen four carry over one one plus four is five five plus two is seven so next move on to the next place value where you get 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 plus 5 is 9. So the total amount that is spent is 974 rupees. The next part of the question is she gave 1000 rupees to the shopkeeper. So money given to the shopkeeper is equal to rupees 1000. How much money did she get back? To do that you will have to subtract 974 which is the total money spent from the money given to the shopkeeper. So 1000 minus 974 begin the subtraction from the paise part which is 0 in this case. In the next place value when you come it is 0 minus 4 which we cannot do. Subsequently we have 3 zeros from where you cannot borrow. So go to the last place value which is 1. You regrouping that it becomes 0. You get 10. You regroup this again this becomes 9 and this becomes 10 you regroup this place value again this becomes 9 and this place value becomes 10 10 minus 4 is 6 9 minus 7 is 2 9 minus 9 is 0 and you take and write down the 0 again just like that so the difference between the two numbers is 26 so let us take and write down the answer before that what is this 26 this is the change that she got back by giving rupees 1000 and the amount that she spent is 974 so let us take and write down the answer therefore Sheila spent rupees 974 the change that she got back is rupees 26 dear viewers addition and subtraction of money is a separate topic which I have dealt with in a separate video link to that video is given below in the description box and also in the i-card section let us do the next sum Two candidates stood for an election. Mr. Amit got 3,45,678 votes and Mr. Sanjeev got 2,73,910 votes. How many votes were cast in all? Who won the election? By how many votes? Let us take and write down the statements first. Number of votes got by Mr. Amit is equal to 3,45,678. Number of votes got by Mr. Sanjeev is equal to 2,73,910. Total votes cast is equal to sum of these two six digit numbers. Let us add them. Begin the addition from the ones place. 8 plus 0 is 8. 7 plus 1 is 8. 6 plus 9 is 15. 5 carry over 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 4 plus 4. 7 is 11, 1 carry over 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. So the answer is 6 lakhs 19,588. This is the total number of votes that were cast. Who won the election and by how many votes is the next part of the question. Who won the election by comparing these two six digit numbers. You will be looking at the leftmost place value which is 3 and 2 in this case. We know that 3 is greater than 2. So by looking at that, we can say that Mr. Amit won the election. To find out by how many votes he won, we'll have to subtract the votes got by Amit minus the votes got by Mr. Sanjeev. So 3,45,678 minus 2,73,910. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. 8 minus 0 is 8. 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 minus 9 cannot be done. So go to the next place value and borrow 4 thousands. 5 thousands will be becoming 4 thousands when regrouped. And 6 will become 16. 16 minus 9 is 7. 4 minus 3 is 1. We cannot subtract 4 minus 7. So go to the last place value and borrow from there. 3 will become 2. 4 will become 14. 14 minus 7 is 7. 
and 2 minus 2 is 0. So the difference in the number of votes is 71,768. So now let us take and write down the answer. The answer for the question A is how many votes were cast in all? 6,19,588 votes were cast in all. Answer for B is Mr. Amit won the election by 71,768 votes. Let us do the next sum. Biju bought a music system for rupees 8,500. He did not like it and sold it for rupees 6,885. Did he make a profit or loss? How much? Profit and loss is a separate topic and I have dealt with this topic in a separate video. Link to which is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Now let us take and write down the statements. Cost price of the music system is equal to Rs. 8,500. Selling price of the music system is equal to Rs. 6,885. Cost price is greater than the selling price which means that there is a loss in the transaction. Formula for loss is cost price minus selling price. So loss is equal to 8,500 minus 6,885. When you subtract these two numbers, you get the answer to be 1615. So let us take and write down the answer now. Biju made a loss of Rs. 1615. Praveen brought a plot of land for Rs. 75,000. He spent Rs. 22,500 on building a wall around the plot. He then sold the land for Rs. 1,50,000. Find his profit or loss. Write down the statements. Cost price of the land is equal to Rs. 75,000. Overhead cost, that is the cost that he spent in building a wall around the plot, is Rs. 22,500. Total cost price is equal to cost price plus overheads, so which is 75,000 plus 22,500. What is the answer that you get when you add these two numbers? When you add 75,000 plus 22,500, you get the answer to be 97,500. Selling price of the land is equal to 1,50,000. In this case, selling price is greater than the total cost price, so the transaction has resulted in a profit. Formula for profit is selling price minus cost price, that is 1,50,000 minus 97,500. Let us do the subtraction and we will see that the answer to be 52,500. So the profit that he made is rupees 52,500. Take and write down the answer. Therefore, Praveen made a profit of rupees 52,500. The next sum that we are going to see is Sushma bought a computer and a printer for rupees 1,20,300. The cost of the computer was rupees 85,800. What was the cost of the printer? Take and write down the statements. Cost of the computer and printer is equal to 1,20,300. Cost of the computer is equal to Rs. 85,800. Cost of the printer will be 1,20,300 minus 85,800. Let us do the subtraction and find out the answer. When you subtract, the answer that you get is 34,500. Take and write down the answer. Therefore, cost of the printer was Rs. 34,500. Dear viewers, hope you understood how to approach a sum which involves both addition and subtraction. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 5 under the topic for uh, subtraction for the children. Of which, this first topic, subtraction of large numbers with regrouping. The next topic, checking subtraction by addition. Addition and subtraction and their application which is profit and loss are dealt with in separate videos. In this video, we saw the topic story sums. In the upcoming video, we will be dealing with mental math and subtraction worksheet. All the topics are dealt with in separate videos and links to all the related videos are given below in the description box. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic on subtraction. If you like the quality of my video, give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications. See you again in the next video.